Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking down one week's worth of growth as well as talk about Barrister and Man Passiflora. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for today's shave. Uh, what we have for today is uh, a soap from Barrister and Man called Passiflora. And this is one that uh, had some excitement from me included uh, when this was announced as uh, the original Passiflora uh, kind of became an unobtainium soap. And you, you know, depending how long you've been uh, a wet shaving hobbyist, you may or may not have heard of this soap before. So in short, Passiflora originally was a collaboration between Tr Peter Tracalis at the time he was running the shaving shop, which is still around today, uh, as well as Barrister and Man, Will Carius, and Will provided the scent of the soap. Uh, it was the kickoff of the club. But there was a disagreement as far as distribution and how the release should go. So uh, instead of being uh, an exclusive offering for the club, this soap, uh, whatever was made at the time, was just put on sale to the public. Uh, and knowing that it was kind of the only, supposedly the only batch that was going to be made, that got snatched up really quick. And that's kind of how it reached unobtainium status. So fast forward a few years and it looks like Pastor Flora is back on the market as a regular release from Bear Sir and Man directly. Uh, this is a seasonal. I think this is being made for the spring season. It's got new art. I do say the original Passiflora art was very sharp. Uh, I'll share it right here so you can see it. And then when compared to the current art, very different even as far as color and style, but uh, maybe best to put some separation between this one and that initial release. Uh, let's take a whiff off a tub. I have used this soap once, and it's featured in the excellent Omnibus base. Just a really, really pleasant scent. Passion fruit is not one, uh, that's kind of key note here. Uh, they have this passion fruit accord, which I believe, you know, at the heart of it is um, kind of based around galvanum oil. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, galvanum. I believe that's a floral. Uh, some combination um, with that galvanum oil is making this passion fruit accord. And in previous videos, accords where multiple notes kind of give you the impression of passion fruit, of leather, various different things. So we definitely have that passion fruit accord popping off the tub here. It's not a super strong scent. I would say it's probably around a, like a five or six out of 10, that medium scent strength but it is very engaging. Um, in the product description, Passiflora is categorized as a spicy fougere. And fougere's spring, I mean, this, the, the spring scent train is rolling because I keep, I, I feel like every time I have a new spring scent to try from an artisan, it's just a banger. And I, I will say that, you know, again, I did one shave with this so far and I just really, really enjoy this scent. Uh, we'll get more into the actual note breakdown um, and, and further details, but let me show you what else we're using for today's shave. And for my razor today, we're going with the Mixed Metal Charcoal Goods Level 2. That's the current generation base plate, and this is uh, loaded up with a Astra SP blade. Again, love the look of the brass base plate and stainless steel top cap, cap and handle that I have for my uh, charcoal goods everyday razor. And last but not least for my brush today, we have from Declaration Grooming. This pour is called Faye, and it is loaded with a B9A knot here. So nice, dense 28 millimeter knot. Can't wait to use it. And before we get further into the shave, if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Uh, if you're interested in the hobbyist world of wet shaving, you've come to the right place. If you're enjoying this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel and don't miss out on any new videos. All right, so as I take care of the face lather here, let me share with you the official notes of Passiflora. We have cinnamon, bergamot, Rose, geranium, lavender, tonka bean, and passion fruit accord. As I previously mentioned, this one is 
categorized as a spicy fougere. And, you know, I was actually surprised to see cinnamon was at the forefront uh, of the notes on this scent. Cinnamon can be a tricky note as quite often it can cause irritation. People are allergic to it as, uh, as far as applying it topically. So you don't, you know, you don't usually find it in a, in a lot of shave soaps. For me, where I've had reaction to cinnamon in the past, this one doesn't cause any discomfort whatsoever. That's a good thing because I really enjoy the scent. Um, it opens up a bit more, uh, to, still just above medium. We're not, we're not talking about anything crazy here, but um, it opens up where you get more of that greenness from that fougere aspect. And there's a lot of great floral notes. I think that's, that, you know, that, that's helping with that. You got that rose, geranium, and lavender. It, it is a very kind of classic masculine, um, more old school style of fougere. But when we talk about that passion fruit coming to the picture, that's really what sets it apart. It's what makes it more modern. Passion fruit is going to be one of those things where not everyone has a frame of reference for, but it's a fruit that is uh, both sweet and sour, a tart, I should say, sour, <laughs> sour by me. Gotta give you the idea of uh, unripe fruit or something, but uh, no, it's a sweet and tart fruit. Tropical fruits in general have a, have a certain vibe, almost kind of a musk. Uh, think of like, I'm thinking of like mango, guava, those kind of fruits, tropical fruits kind of share that quality with one another. And that's that, that's definitely here too. I also want to say that with this omnibus base, uh, before I put the proto lather, um, there's quite a bit <laughs> with, with lathering up uh, this dense knot. I, I apply, apply that to the face and just to the touch, it was super buttery, super luxurious. Okay, and then here we have the resulting lather here. Again, we're working with seven days worth of beard growth. It's been one week exactly since my last shave. I think I went live on Instagram. Um, and it's, it's been one of those weeks. I can share more about that, but let's just get right into it with the first pass. So this is probably the most uh, beard growth I've had <laughs> in, in a while. Even on vacation, I managed to fit in one or two shaves, but um, for this case, I was a bit under the weather for uh, the majority of this past week. And then working from home as well kind of allows me that luxury of not shaving if I don't want to. That's the short of how we got here today. But also, I will say that um, I'm at an interesting place, at least, you know, for this past few weeks with my engagement as a hobbyist to wet shaving in that it's kind of it's kind of at a low point as far as my interest in finding out about you know what's coming down the pipeline and what's new and shiny i would say my current place is kind of just wanting to use the items that i have i feel like i've said this before i, I think we all go through these phases but I want to use what I have, and having this YouTube channel means quite, you know, quite a bit of software and hardware makes its way through my, um, through my shave den. And it's something that I don't necessarily view as a bad thing. It does make it a little tricky though, as far as like producing content or the desire to produce content, because I think for me it's kind of uh, tied together. Where oh, I really want to make this a video, or I really want to tackle this and uh, find out more about this razor or this soap. That's one thing where maybe in the past where I've had kind of this phase where things kind of just calmed down a bit as a hobbyist, but I didn't have this ongoing thoughts in the back of my mind to, yeah, to make videos, to take pictures of the, uh, sorry, shaves of the day pictures and stuff like that. So. I'm trying to figure out how to, basically not how to totally abandon an audience <laughs> during that during this phase. Um, 
and kind of do right by you guys as well. A uh, quick aside, uh, first pass kind of came and went really quick. Uh, I think that just speaks to the efficiency of that of the level two from charcoal goods. Uh, there's still obviously, uh, you know, like there's a lot of hair to mow down. So in the mustache area, even around the neck, um, we need more than to clean up. But I will just say, as far as the immediate, immediate obvious areas, especially by the cheeks, it went down really easily. Hey guys, John here from the future. So at this point in the video, my phone for some reason decided to stop recording. I think I went on quite a bit more about burnout and uh, just kind of slowing things down, which I wound up talking about more anyway in my video, James by First Line Shave. So you've probably, if for regular viewers of the channel, you've heard a little bit about that. But I did want to come in right now and just give a quick wrap up to the shave and in particular to Passiflora. So it was, it's a really great scent, guys. Uh, as far as when I'm recording this, I know it is not in production anymore. However, it was for a spring seasonal and there are still uh, tubs at various online vendors. So the razor company, West Coast Shaving, check, you know, check your favorites to see if they still have it because this is a really good one to pick up. Spring, summer, uh, it's got that unique tropical vibe. And one thing I did get to find out was this one, guys, it's one of my wife's favorite scents that I have. G given that uh, she's from Hawaii and passion fruit and I think tropical fruits in general uh, do really well, uh, that is also a huge plus. But overall, you know, tropical, fougere, uh, it's got a gentlemanly vibe, really solid. The Omnibus Soap Base, top five. Uh, even the, the aftershave here, which you didn't get to see me uh, apply, but the, there's not much difference in the scent. It, it's, a good, it's, it's a good one for one match. And I do believe all of the um, Bear Sir Man aftershaves now come in the reserve base. So for a while they were running multiple, maybe like two, possibly three different aftershave formulas, but everything has um, kind of just to simplify things come in that one formula. So that's what that's what Passiflora is offered in. So that will pretty much do it for this video. Thank you again for rolling with the punches as sometimes weird technical glitches do happen, but I think things uh, were salvageable. So I hope you found the review and information presented today helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, you know, sound off down below. And I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Today's video was made possible in part by our wonderful patrons. For more information about our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash lather talk. You can also check out our Etsy store and pick up a comfy lather talk t-shirt or coffee mug. Find all the links down below.